Preseason 2024 patch is coming to PBE very shortly. There are a lot of changes. Map is getting completely changed. There are big changes to Baron, Herald, Jungle buffs, Scuttler. We are even getting new monsters. And to add more to it, a lot of items are getting added into the game, especially for mages. Support items are also getting a massive overhaul. Thanks to Riot, I can already show you what's coming to League of Legends in 2024. Let's start with the changes to Summoner's Rift Terrain. That you might have already seen in some of the teasers or the Huey gameplay clips. Overall, the aim of the changes is to reduce the map difference between red and blue side. First, let's have a look at the view of lanes and river. Let's go with the bot lane first. As you can see at the top of the screen, there's an extra passage that connects river to the red team jungle. And you can also use this passage to gank bot lane. It's covered by the bush. This itself will completely change the way League of Legends is played, and this is just the beginning. The bush in the river near the wall got removed, and we got a new pixel bush, further from the wall. The changes in the bot lane intend to make the lane more symmetrical, and to eliminate any side base advantages. Now let's move towards the mid lane. The wall opposite to the dragon's pit is completely changed. It's gonna be easier to go from blue or grump straight to the mid lane, as you don't have to path around the wall anymore. That wall also has two brushes on both sides, certainly gonna enable some sneaky plays. Also have a look at the brush near the mid lane. In this screenshot we can see mid lane better. Bushes got pushed deeper in the jungle, they aren't as close to the mid lane anymore. The goal of these adjustments is to give immobile mid lane champions a bit more safety. Furthermore, the wall above blue outer turret and below red outer turret got completely changed. This wall is much bigger and it is impossible to path through here without taking the turret aggro anymore. If you are afraid of being ganked from behind, it would be natural to stay closer to the side on which the wall is bigger. Let's move towards the top lane. If you look opposite the baron pit, there is a wall similar to the one opposing the dragon pit. The difference here is, the brush is only on one side of that wall. Baron Pit isn't gonna be the same anymore in every single game. It's gonna be generated from three options each game, but more on that soon. Let's move towards the top lane again. In the river we have similar pixel brush to the one in bot lane, the old brush near the wall also got removed here. Notice that there is a massive wall near the red team outer turret right now. This makes the map much more symmetrical. When you zoom in, we can see that ganking red team top laner from behind is gonna be extremely difficult right now. Similarly to the bot lane, Riot intends to eliminate any side-based advantages. These changes also give more agency to top lane players. Now let's talk about changes to the jungle monsters. They are also absolutely massive. Void Grabs and Void Mites are new monsters that have been added to the Baron Pit. They will be taking the place of first Rift Herald each game and despawning at 14 minutes. Starting at 5 minutes into the game, three Void Grabs will spawn, each with his own respawn timer. Maximum of 6 can spawn in a single game. When you aggro the Void Grab, it will unleash a swarm of Void Mites that will attack enemies. Players that kill Void Grabs will earn buff called Hunger of the Void. This buff gives the user damage over time to structures. This buff also stacks based on the amount of Void Grabs that are killed. Slaying 5 or 6 Void Grabs will cause the player to periodically summon 1 or 2 Void Mites that will help take down the structures. Rift Herald is gonna be back this season, but it's gonna get a new look. Also in 2024, when players crush Eye of the Herald, Herald will spawn as usual, but the user or an allied champion will be able to right-click the Herald to jump onto it. This will allow the player to steer the Rift Herald and command it to charge forward, damaging and knocking up enemies in its path. If players charge the Rift Herald into a turret, it will do even more damage than if it was just Rift Herald charging by itself, without being controlled. After colliding with a terrain or a turret, the champion riding the Rift Herald will be knocked out, back to his normal form. Now it's time for Baron Nashor, he also has huge changes. Not only Baron Nashor is getting visual update, but he can now appear in three brand new forms, as Territorial Baron, Hunting Baron and All-Seeing Baron. Each of these forms comes with their own terrain changes to the Baron Pit. Hunting Baron leaves the pit unchanged, Territorial Baron creates a wall in front of the pit, and finally All-Seeing Baron closes off the front and opens up both sides creating a tunnel. Furthermore, different Baron forms have different attacks. Hunting Baron blasts all nearby enemies with lightning from above, Territorial Baron uses his new hands to pull champions towards him, 
and All Seeing Baron opens a Void Rift that creates a damage over time zone within the new Tunnel Pit. It's worth to remember that you won't know which Baron spawns before 20 minutes into the game. It's not like a dragon, you will just find out at 20 minutes what Baron is going to spawn. And then finally, let's discuss Void Camps. Starting at 20 minutes into the game, next spawning blue and red buff will both become Voidborn. In this form, they are harder to kill, but also grant their buffs to the entire team of the player that takes them down, excluding allies that were dead at the time of taking the buff. Also starting at 20 minutes, next spawning Rift Scuttler will be Voidborn Scuttler. When this Scuttler is killed, it will send out Massive Scryer's Bloom effect, revealing all champions and wards in a large surrounding area. All wards revealed this way will be reduced to 1 HP. There are also visual changes coming to Baron Pit, new music will be added when fighting around Baron or other Void objectives. And there are also Drake changes coming in 2024. Once Infernal's Drake Infernal Rift is locked in, Infernal Cinders will spawn around the map. Each Cinder will give the champion that picked it up adaptive stats and a burst of movement speed. Upon death, champions will drop half of their cinders, which can then be picked up by allied or enemy champions. Also, given the new terrain changes, a few of the small walls and brushes for Mountain and Ocean Drake will be moved. Now let's go with item changes. First a reminder, mythic items are getting removed from the game. The goal of this change is to shift a bit of power from items into the champions themselves and give them more flexibility with builds. Let's start with item changes for supports. There is going to be one starting support item in 2024. It will execute minions and still do damage to champions and upgrade as before. It will be able to evolve it into one of five items later on. You can upgrade this item when you reach stage 3 of your support item. Basically you're going to be able to evolve support item into the item you prefer. There is going to be one item designed for each support group. One for engaged tanks, one for enchanters, one for wardens, so champions that protect AD carries with CC, one for fighters, like Set or Senna, and then one for mages, so stuff like Lux or Brand. Most of the champions are going to have two decent choices out of the support items. There is also going to be a lot of new items added to the game. As soon as we get their details, I'll let you know. But what we know is that mages are going to get the biggest changes in items and most items added. They have been fairly neglected recently, so Riot wants AP champions to have good itemization choice. And I think this is great. What's also worth remembering is that ability haste is overall getting decreased this season, partially because of removal of the mythic items, but also Riot just doesn't want so much ability haste in the game. In the upcoming season, your total power that comes from the items is gonna be down between 10 to 15% in comparison to what we had this year. Most of the power loss comes from the mythic passive and removal of mythic itself. In the early game this drop may be even bigger, because you're not going to spike with one or two items so hard anymore. Speaking of items, Amplifying Tome is also gonna be 400 gold. It was very disturbing to one of the rioters that it was 435 gold for a while. I can fully understand him and support him wholeheartedly. Turrets are also getting adjusted, but it's mostly a mild health adjustment. Riot is waiting to see how the game looks with the new map, and then they might adjust turrets even more. Riot overall expects the game to be less snowbally and potentially slower, mostly due to junglers having less agency now. So expect games to slow down a bit. As you can tell, 2024 is gonna be the year of the void. Riot doesn't plan to do such crazy map changes in the near future, but I think it would be cool to have different map theme every year. What do you guys think about all of these changes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and cheers!